I really like watching people. Not in like like a creepy stalker way, just like a casual observer type thing. I like seeing people happy. Like today we were at the DMV, like I said a few days ago, we had to go back to get my temps. And when I was waiting, because you have to wait at least like 20 minutes every time, that seems to be the general uh, protocol. When I was waiting, this girl came in. She had just gotten back from a road test to get her actual license. And she was just beaming because she hadn't gotten like any points or anything. And I just thought that was great. She was beaming the whole time she sat in line. And then they called her up to get her picture taken. And she had to take it a couple times. But it was just really cool. But then to contrast that, we went to Sam's Club. And there was this couple. One of them, the guy, was in one of those motorized, like, scooter type things that they provide at, uh, at grocery stores and stuff. And the girl was sitting on his lap, and they were kind of hugging. And they both looked just really sad. And that's kind of why I like watching people. I like to try and think why they might be showing the emotion that they are. It's a good chance to, you know work on your empathy, really jump in other people's shoes, make up little stories as to, you know, why they're, why they're so happy. Sometimes it's easy, like, like the girl at the DMV. I mean, there's, unless you pass your driver's test, there's really no opportunity for you to be that happy at the DMV. I mean, it's generally a very unhappy place. So sometimes it's really easy to guess, but it's easier to guess happiness in a way, but sadness, there's so many more possibilities and it's harder to figure out.